and just waiting on the wife. Are we live? We are now. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Builder Crawl. Um, I thought I would take a break today from the fall. Since, uh, well, I've been working on the ones that Scarlett did yesterday. I, I made her go ahead and do the wood grain for me because I like her wood grain, and I'm working on the pumpkin. So I've got several of those going. But I get a lot of requests in Canton for rocket ships and space-themed uh, things like for children, for little boys' door hangers and stuff like that, boys' rooms. So I thought I would do a spaceship today and just show you all an, an idea. Um, I'm going to use like some reds and blues. And I kind of, let me think. I'm going to use this sea glass and savanna mist. I used some Dixie Bell this weekend. I used glaze. I used some of that um, clear glaze. What did you do with it? Uh, cleared a uh, shelf that I had to put in. And oh, and cleared the shelf you put in? Yeah. It, it actually it helped give it some character. It was like a cypress. Uh, I didn't want to stain it because I didn't want to mess up the look of the glaze. Oh, good evening. Thanks so much. The glaze enhanced the wood grain without you know, making it darker. Well, that's nice. I'm just going to paint over the little circles because it would be insane to try and go around them all. Um, you would just want to come back and make the dots on top of the paint. I'm using Savannah Mist on the outside. Going with a kind of a blue and red, yellow, orange type theme, more primary type colors, tints and shades of those. Uh, because it is for a boys' room, they typically seem to be more primary colors. Um, or if it's a baby boy, pastel of the primary color. And I guess if you don't know what I'm talking about, your primary colors would be red, yellow, blue, green. Not even green, green's not a primary color. Red, yellow, blue. Orange. Uh, orange is a compound color, like green. Yellow and blue make green. Red and yellow make orange. So we're not going out for Roy DPF, right? Well, it, yeah, no, it would be primary colors are. Yeah. Secondary colors are made by primary colors. Tertiary colors are made by primary colors. I have no idea. Tertiary. 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 The cumulus color. <laughs> what is in the clouds? Cumulus. Sub Cumulonimbus. Nimbus. Stratus. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to. In first grade, uh, um, you learn about different clouds? No, I never did it because uh, I never was in first grade. Oh. Oh, you just skipped grade? it? No. I was only in second kind of, bro, <laughs> kindergarten. First, no. I can't remember. Yeah, you, were you were in first grade. You did first grade. I just didn't learn clouds yet. Yeah. I just was not in the school. I was not in school, so yeah. I was only in like one of the short the coronavirus shots. My mom pulled me out of school, so yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's what that's what uh, the quarantine caused. Kids skip first grade, and they don't know about clouds now. They don't learn about, about clouds anymore. They don't learn cursive. So. I think it's crazy that they don't really learn cursive anymore. Like, they haven't been learning, I want to say, they haven't been learning cursive for a long time. Yeah, they have been a lot of those here that, that never learned it. Yeah, that's right. It's Remember, crazy to me. Like, Jacob that was here, um, he used to be yeah. he never learned how to read. He didn't learn how to read and write at all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well. Well. They might have been teaching it and he oh, just skipped it. <laughs> He just skipped it. Um, I mixed I mixed in this uh, sea glass with the Savannah Mist. I kind of like it. So I'm adding a little bit of a highlight around here with some fluff. I think it's, I always think it's amazing. Like whenever I was working at the thrift store and stuff and you would get like old library books in and they would have signatures in them. Uh, everybody from that generation that my mama and my great grandmother were in, they all have the exact same handwriting which is so cool. The way they write in cursive is all the same to me. Like I have my own little style, but people who grew up 
grew up in the 50s and 60s have a signature type person style. Okay, so that's going to be that exterior right there. I'm going to do a little bit of this peacock. I'm going to mix it up on my board with some Savannah Mist and add a little bit of water because it's kind of thick. And I'm going to use this for the side, the fins of the rocket. The fins? What do you call those? The legs? Uh, I would call them fins, I believe. But um, yeah, because that rocket is in flight. It's not going to have a leg attached to it anymore. Oh, they drop their legs. Back to the earth. Forget who they kill. Yeah. <laughs> or do they burn up in the atmosphere? land and the ocean. It's usually yeah. only part of it. Isn't it? Well, that's not a. That looks like it's got a nose that comes they off. Burn up in the. For re entry. Uh, <laughs> Space shuttle. Van Allen belt. This Easy rocket ship, to... children's <laughs> rocket ship shape, is available starting at only $2.98. Can you believe we still pay lunch for the two? That's on. That's for an eight inch on eight inch. So if you're buying something for a kids' craft, that'd be a pretty good size. It's so ten. cute too. All right, the line down here and the point. I'm gonna do in some red, honky tonk red. I really like honky tonk red, especially for a boys' room. It would be cute. It has, and the thing I, one thing I love about Honky Tonk Red is it has such a great coverage. Like, it's really almost a, a one coat when I'm doing Christmas stuff. I love the color of Barn Red, but Honky Tonk just covers really well. I'm going to do the point up here in Honky Tonk. What would they do? You said they were asking for this in can. What would I, they do with it? Put a kid's name on it? Or something? Yeah, I, regularly I get somebody wanting a space themed, and I guess they would just put it in their child's room, put a name on it, um, decorate with it. Which I, you can decorate with these. I did my grandson's room with fish and lure cutouts and fish cutouts. You know, mm -hmm. like you can totally decorate with these. While I have this red, I'm going to come down here to this orange and make this flame coming out. A little bit of orange and red and yellow. Yeller. 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 So I got moved into my new house and I can't find a thing. Just even painting the orange with this red on the brush gives it a really streaky, fun uh, look. Remember to use your brush stroke, so I'm kind of swiping in the S shape down from the top. Use your brush strokes to give yourself depth. And now I'm going to get a thin brush and come in with some yellow. Yeah, I can't find anything. It takes forever to get to the kitchen from my bedroom. I'm not used to that. I'm used to taking like one step and being there. But I am making some progress. I managed to get everything into the correct rooms. It's not unpacked but it's sitting in the correct room. So I'm not like frantically tearing through boxes <laughs> trying to get ready in the morning. Yeah. And I can make my coffee and stuff. So I just added a little bit of yellow. I'm not going to do it super dark. I'm just swiping it through the wet paint here. I'm going to add a little bit on the outsides. Um, hopefully we've told you in the last couple of days. Congratulations. Um, Thanks. While I have this yellow out, I'm going to dip the end of my brush in the yellow, and I'm going to fill in these dots just with a little circular motion with this yellow. The tip of your brush is really good for this kind of thing because you don't want to get like bristle strokes outside of the lines really bad. Kind of dotted yeah, you ever in. thought about? I see this scene on movies sometimes, where people go back to their childhood neighborhood yeah. and just knock on the stranger's door and be like, "I just want to see if I could look around. My grandma used to live here, you know." Something I've like done that. that. Have you? I've done that, but I didn't go. I went I to the back to the backyard. 
I didn't go inside. I wanted to go to the backyard. Be weird. I feel like I knocked on one to let the cat. I'm like, well, all right, well, Grandma's not here anymore. Well, much change in seven <laughs> seven years. We went to my childhood house and I went into the backyard because I used to have an imaginary. I called it my uh, school woods and my Christmas rock. There was a big rock in the woods back there. And every day I would say I was going to play. This is when you could let your four-year-old go out in the woods alone, you know? Yeah. <laughs> the age of serial killers, though, the 70s, the age of serial killers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The age of uh, car seats that didn't buckle into the car, just slid around on the chair. <laughs> Just plastic seats that you sat in the car with your kid in them and they didn't buckle in or anything. Yeah. yeah. Just wet, man. Yeah. <laughs> I miss those days. <laughs> the 70s and 80s were definitely the reign of serial killers. You can't get away with anything anymore. So now all these like these like old men in their 80s sitting around just waiting to get caught now that DNA. <laughs> They're just <laughs> yeah. like, I knew you were coming. <laughs> Okay, so now the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, pimp this out a little bit, make it fun. I think I'll use fluff and I'll paint inside my window here. It's just a little bit of a different shade of white I'm going to give it. And I, I use this just so that I can actually smooth out my circle around the edges. When you're doing a complete circle, put the brush down and don't pick it up. Just keep going all the way around. Don't start and stop. Finish your whole stroke out. All right. So added that, and I'm gonna add a few highlights. Add a few highlights here. So are the kids going home today, Billy? Oh, yeah. They are. You done being Mr. Mom? <laughs> well, you remember that movie? Who I was in that movie? Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan was in Mr. Mom? No. Mom? He had something like that. Wasn't it uh, Michael Keaton or something? Yes. Okay. It was something like that. Nanny. The nanny. The nanny. nanny. Um, yeah, it was something like that. A little bit of white highlight can really pop it out. And here's the one other fun thing I was going to do. Get this spray. Yeah, Mr. Mom was Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton was all the weird characters. Wasn't he also Jack Frost? Or yeah. Jack the Snowman. That. He also played the founder of McDonald's. The founder. Was that the in the movie Batman. about the Monopoly yeah. money? That was a huge scandal. Well, it wasn't. No, they didn't talk about the Monopoly. It was like the, the roots of uh, McDonald's real estate company and all that. They made a movie, they though, about the... People that, um, invented McDonald's, basically. They made a movie about about that. About the Monopoly game and had the scheme that they did to win it. Mr. Nanny was the name of the whole movie in 1993. Mr. Nanny is just going to be a knockoff of Mrs. Doubtfire. Nobody can do that like Robin Williams. In 1993, Sherman Hemsley was in there. I don't remember anything about it. I just remember that he did that. Yeah, I never saw it. I really don't know that either. This is Johnny Five. Yeah, know about Do Johnny you remember Five. Johnny Five? Oh, yeah, short circuit. Yeah, he was awesome. Johnny Five was alive. So, is that it's an alien? Is that it's like a, a robot. Alien? Oh, it's a robot. Yeah, I saw some. I saw a picture on Google of a robot in a in a uh, rocket ship. So I thought it would be fun to add it in. 
This is not part of the paint my line. I'm just drawing it in for fun. You could put an alien in there. You could put an astronaut in there. You could leave it blank if you don't want to do anything. I just thought it would be fun to add this in for a kid's room. Super easy, quick. What was the one? Do you remember batteries not included? And there were like little spaceship things, and they were like, there was like five of them, and they flew into that kid's room that night. And he kept them. Sort of. What about, do you remember Star, The Last Starfighter? Who I love that one. Um, what was the other one with the get to the kids? Um, uh, Flight, Flight of the, of the Navigator. Navigator. Flight of, or the boy who could fly. No, I don't remember. You never seen Flight of the Navigator? Oh my gosh, that was so. That had Sarah Jessica Parker in it. Really missing out there, Bill. So she was like, we got real Coke, Diet Coke. Coke, sugar free, cherry coat, vanilla coat. Remember that when he was he had been gone for like twenty years yeah. and he came back. Actually, watched that on the Disney Plus not that long ago. Did like you? Maybe two years ago when I first got Disney Plus it was on there and I watched it. I had water in my paint this morning. Yeah, she was young in that movie. Oh, it's Jay. She's old now. This is so cute. This is going to sell. Are you going to do like most of the other ones the same way? Or? Yeah, I mean, I, mean it's a, do. I got four. It's an easy paint. I mean, we've only been on here, what, 15, 20 minutes? Yes, 17 minutes and 14 See, we're good. I can do all of these. I hope so. So I'm not going to outline all of it, but I am going to put my little robot. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> Is everybody That's gone for the day? Uh -huh. Okay, this is not drawing on here well, so let me just use some black. Da -da 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 -da. Is that what song that is? Oh, I think that's just the rain. Very similar to that. I don't really have something super pointy. But in my paint pen isn't working right. So I'm going to use this brush and I'm going to get it as flat as possible. Give him a little side curve there. All right, that'll work. Probably outline him later. Here he is, Mr. Love it. Johnny Five. All right, you have a winner. Are we waiting on Billy? <laughs> it's a winner. Deborah Mellon. Deborah Mellon, regular watcher. I know that name. You can uh, get an 18 inch spaceship if you'll give us your email at build at support at build a dash cross dot com. If you ever win like multiple of these and you you know you have a friend, send us their address. Uh, we'd always love to get a new customer in. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I'll let that drive for an hour.